Hi, here's my 2012 Hyundai Azaria. Today we're going to scan the ODB2 bus and look for diagnostic codes. We open the door and look, and I don't know if you can see it on camera right there. Okay, it says Fuse ODB. So here we are. Here's the ODB2 diagnostic port. A very interesting look at the fuses. They have a master switch. You can actually turn off the power to the whole car right here. That's kind of an interesting feature. I, I never knew that was there. First thing we do is we turn the car on. The car has to be on for this to work. Plug in the ODB tool. You can see my ODB uh, bus analyzer. We press enter and now it's scanning. And it's reading, reading, reading. And uh, we can just look through all the codes now. Oh, no codes. Everything's fine. There are no codes, but we can also see all the other things. Oops, wrong one. Okay, here I'm going to press enter. MIL is a malfunction light, and that's off. The misfire is ready, so there's no problems with misfires. Fuel is ready. CCM ready. Cat, I guess it's a catalytic converter, says it's ready. HCM doesn't apply. Evaporator, that's in good shape. The the two air not installed. Not installed. And the O2 sensor says it's ready. And the H O2S uh, sensor is ready. EGR is ready. And then we're back to the malfunction light. So that means uh, there's no check engine light. So uh, that's that's what we have. Now I'm going to try an Elm 327 uh, Bluetooth uh, diagnostic interface. I plugged the device in and scanned the, the Bluetooth and I found the CBT and I had to pair with it. So uh, I entered in the code 1234 and now the pairing is successful and we're ready, ready to, to use it. There are many ODB2 Android applications. I have the Torque application going. And right now it says that there's no paired Bluetooth device. So let's find the CBT device and we'll get that going. I'm in the settings for Torque. I press device and I'm going to select the, the CBT. Now in the upper corner it says connected to ECU OK. Okay, we got Quark torque going and uh, we have things like speed and acceler acceleration since I'm stopped and uh, not, nothing's going to happen but if I press throttle you can see throttle going up and you can see RPM going up. So I'm going to press on the the settings button and select fault codes and let's just say show logged faults requesting fault codes please wait and it says no fault codes stored in ECU fault codes let's see about pending faults let's see what we have pending no pending fault codes well that's good news let's try this one more time fault codes show historic fault codes. And no histic uh, fault codes. I misspelled historic. Oh well, I guess everything's good. 